This is code.org. Let's see. Title screens. You can add big text to your program with a title screen. This block makes the text appear until you replace it or hide it. In this level, you'll use two new blocks. Ooh, two. Do this. Make a program that displays a title screen and then hides it after three seconds. Okay, my title is going to be code is cool. And my subtitle is yes, it is. I'm very creative. Okay, so cool. That's obviously working. However, we have to hide it. So we need an event, right? We need something to happen that will make sure this is hidden. Well, I can't just use win run. I know that because I don't even know. Oh, hide. Oh, okay. Let's go into world. Is that here? All right. I can do this, right? And what's going to happen? It's not plop. That's what's going to happen because it runs instantly. It says, okay. And guys, I just want to be clear here. The computer does process this. So if the UI is responsive enough, it's not. But theoretically, this shows for a teeny split tenth of a millisecond. Because the code has to run in order. So the second I click around, theoretically, this shows so briefly the human eye cannot detect it, right? And then it is hidden, right? Because the second I hit run, the computer goes right through this. And that's why we never get to see it. It should be there, but our eyes aren't fast enough. And the screen might actually not respond fast enough before this is even run. That being said, we know we want to wait for an event. And that event is three seconds. So in my events, at three seconds, right? Hey, computer, wait for three seconds, and then I want you to run this. So now when I hit run, only this gets to run. And then automatically after three seconds, the computer says, oh, oh, this happened. Do that. One, two, three, victory. Onward.